What you got there? This is the Vancellary headliner kit. So it's like a template that you cut out in the exact shape that you need to fit over the factory headliner. And so we've got a nice big piece of plywood here. We're gonna first chop it down into the rough dimensions and then we're gonna take a jigsaw to it and basically trace out the, the lines. Nice. Nice. With the cuts, doing work. Now the hard part remains. In the workshop. So I just ripped the edges of our headliner. I basically just used some clamps to create a straight edge for my circular saw. Rip through that straight line, rip through here. Still got to clamp down now I'm working through curved edge with the jigsaw. Not too shabby. quick lunch break session. We're gonna try to drill some holes for the mounting locations of our Vancellary headliner shelf, our transit. We got the included brackets here. I got my seven millimeter uh, socket on. We gotta go into our existing headliner. Remove the screw there, screw there, screw there and screw there. Seat our brackets in those locations. And then we'll place the wood on top of that and mark the holes. All right, so we'll get one of the brackets up on the passenger side. Next, we'll put our bracket in. So it'll go like this. You have the lower shelf here and then the long tabby bit towards the back. And we'll just slide that underneath the existing headliner and the cutouts the cutouts of the holes seat nicely into the existing headliner and so now we'll put the, the screws back in And so they do say to be careful about tightening the screw or the bolt that's closest to the window. Make sure you don't overstrip that. So, uh, fair warning. And then we can do the same on the driver's side. We got our cut shelf on top of our mounting brackets and the center headliner shelf. And so one thing that you also need to do is remove these cubbies, you could do that just by pinching the top and bottom and it comes out. Um, as you can see, there's kind of just like these little lips on them or little nubs on them that just come out by pinching on the sides. So in there, you will be able to access the one hole that you need. We'll just center our board and then we'll mark the three holes, hole locations on the bracket on each side, plus the one in the middle. So there'll be seven marks total. It was apparently pretty difficult to find a short little pencil. So we found this little uh, dry erase marker that came with some whiteboard we got. So we're gonna use the short marker to get into these little nooks and crannies and mark our holes. So the hard ones to access will be the center one, uh, probably the one in the closest to the windshield on both sides of the bracket. So let's go mark our holes. Make sure we're still square. Nice. Take 
take our marker, one in the center, and so in their, in their instructions you could also just grab some pliers and give it a little boop, boop. to reach in the hard areas. Time to drill our holes. So, uh, on the sides, you're going to use a 732, uh, and then in the center, uh, you're going to use a 932. And so, if you don't have that, they just say to size up. I didn't have a 932, so I went with the 516. Uh, so, what I'm going to do first is just dimple, uh, I guess, all my holes at this point. I don't have a hammer right now, so the back of this file. And you probably don't need to do this, but it never hurts. Okay, so now that I've got these dimpled in the center, I'll take my 732. And then we will flip it to the other side. repeat that process. And then can't forget our one in the middle. So we'll just clamp this down. Good enough. We already dimpled it. We'll swap out to my 516. And there you go. And so also included is a little bag of hardware. So when you open this, it'll all be loose. Um, but at this point, I've kind of just gone through it making sure I had everything. Um, so you get, you need at least one quarter inch bolt. This is probably uh, one inch long. Um, for some reason, I got two of them, but I guess it never hurts to have extras. Uh, and then you need six of these uh, machine screws. Uh, these are 1024 by 3 quarter inch. So we'll need six of them. We got an extra. Put the extras over here. So you need three for each side. And then it also seems to have come with an extra quarter inch washer. An extra washer for the brackets. Ancillary instructions just say to glue on your lip to the edge of your board. But uh, while I have all of the clamps down, I'm gonna drill some pilot holes so that we can fasten it uh, with a few wood screws. So ours came out to about 52 inches. So every 10 inches we have a mark. So here's my marks. Right around 10 inches each segment. The middle is going to be a little longer since I did 10 from this side, 20 here, 10 from this side, 20 here. All right, it's glue time. We've got two packages of just gray felt that we're going to use. And then I'm going to be going and I'm using 3M77 as our adhesive. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> okay, let's see what we're working with. I think initially I'm just gonna do a trim around the edges and leave a little bit of material to work with. Um, and then I'll do a more precise cut. Move all this extra material out of the way. It's not a great tip to do half at a time. So uh, we had these tiles laying around. So I'm going to use this to weight down one side. And then what I'll do is pull back the felt. Um, and then I'm going to spray um, this side with the 3M. 77 and the felt. Shake, shake. I think I've shaken it enough. <laughs> okay, I think that went on 
pretty well. All right, so now we just have to do it on that side. And move on. Do a little shaky shake. Get this out too. work our way down and out. All right, that looks pretty good. Next up, I'm going to flip this over and then I think we'll trim off these extra edges now. Now that we have that extra material off, we're going to open up our second packet of felt. And this side we'll do things a little bit differently. We need this to have an overhang to cover this and wrap around to the other side. So I'm going to leave it a few inches there for us to play with. Similar to the other side, I'll cut off some extra material on each side. We're back to shaking. Shaky shake. and we'll get our felt as well. Finger gets sore from this. <laughs> Camera died, now we're back. What we're gonna do is glue the other side down now. Shake a shake. Good. Next, I am going to remove this tile, flip over this headliner shelf, and try to get the top bit. Shake, shake again. What I've noticed is that the mat we're on has been getting my socks dirty, which means if I rub this felt all over it, it will also be changing color. So I'm gonna lift this up from here, put some clean material under before I lay it down on the side that's gonna be visible. So please hold. Erin, Erin, can you help me for a second? Maybe like two rows of that would be great. What I've learned from right now uh, is light gray can get dirty easily. So consider a darker fabric, <laughs> like maybe black or charcoal. No one's really gonna see this part because it's the lip, so we'll be looking at just the front of it. Um, but we can try to make it as close to this edge as possible. I do actually have a chalk marker, so I'm going to draw a line in this crease and then cut it from there. Kind of fun, never used it before. <laughs> so. Alright, so it's not perfect, but it'll get the job done. I'm just gonna spray one more layer of 3M77 under it and then we'll officially push it down and then we'll call the lip good. crazy with the glue here. Okay. All right, we got a little wild glue, but again, people aren't really gonna see this side except for you guys. So pretend it looks perfect. Morning. Morning. I think what I'm gonna do is measure about maybe an inch and a half all the way around and draw a line and cut that. Um, this is actually going to be the side that no, really nobody sees, but we'll try to make it semi-nice. Did get a staple gun. Okay, I think this will work out pretty well. One thing to be aware of is the holes that Aaron drilled out earlier 
um, when I covered it with felt, it became like harder and harder to feel where the, those holes are. And then I'm stapling, <laughs> and I think I stapled over one of the whole areas. So he's going through and uh, uh, making a little hole in the felt where all of the larger holes are, because that's how we're going to reattach it um, back to the van. So he's going to poke those holes for me, and then I will staple around them. got our headliner shelf and we're gonna go put it back in the van to make sure it still fits without a pelt. Ta -da. Looks good. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Alright, so last step. Aaron, you're gonna screw everything in. No, you're gonna screw it in. No, you're gonna screw it in. <laughs> One of us is gonna screw it in. Our headliner shelf is now fully installed. Thanks for watching and if you liked this video be sure to give us a thumbs up and if you want to continue watching our van build series be sure to subscribe to our channel. See you on the next episode. Peace.